What's up you guys? We're here at this museum. It's all about mammoths. I'm gonna bring you guys along. I'm gonna show you guys the whole museum. I'm gonna show you guys how it looks inside. Hopefully it's a really cool museum. We've never been here before. I had never even, I didn't, I didn't even know it existed. So, so we're gonna go in right now and we're gonna film the whole thing. So come on, let's go inside. So the prices are 30 uh, for general admission and 20 if you're a student or a kid. So yeah, so we're gonna go in right now. We just got our tickets. Let's go inside. Oh wow. Wow. Gracias. All right guys, so it's, what we see here when we first walk in is just some cabinets, I guess. They have some stuff in them. They have some rocks, some old rocks. And this one, they have paint and booze. <laughs> Let's continue. Wow. Look at this, guys. I love these old style buildings here in Mexico. They remind me of those old movies that they used to make. A good one would be like the Mask of Zorro. If everyone, they're like on the second story and they fall off. I love these old kinds of buildings. It makes me feel like I'm back in the 1800s. Wow, look at this. This is a very, very old machine. I have no idea what it does or what it's for, but it looks really cool. Wow, that is beautiful. I have no idea what kind of rock this is. I should have paid more attention in, in school. <laughs> Yeah, so they pretty much just have a lot of old stuff. Look at this one. Imagine how much this would be worth in the US. Oh, these are old bottles. Look, as you can see, Pemex. Pemex is, I believe it's the government gas company. They're the ones that produce all the gas or most of the gas now because they've officially opened the doors to foreign companies, but they produce a lot of the gas that's here in Mexico. I need to get one of these for my business. <laughs> wow, look at this. I wonder how much this is worth now. Oh, look at this Pepsi one. I've seen those on American Pickers and all that, and I'm pretty sure that one's worth a lot. And I just told me, tell them to sell you this one for the business. <laughs> this would actually be a good buy. An old gas pump, nice. Okay. Oh, I'm pretty sure this is a fossil. One fossil. So this is one fossil or no? See you on the side. Uh huh. Okay, so this right here is some kind of poop. They said that they have bones from mammoths and whales and that everything's from nearby. So this must be from some kind of animal, maybe the mammoth, maybe even a whale or something. It's <laughs> All right, guys, so each room has a number. So this is sala four, which means like living room four. That one has five. So we're gonna start from the beginning. We're gonna go to the number one, and then we're just gonna do a, a circle around the whole thing. We're gonna show you guys the whole thing. So let's check it out. <laughs> okay, so we're going in number one. Let's go. Wow, this has to be the most beautiful thing I've have ever seen. This is amazing. Oh my gosh. This is so cool. Look at that, you guys. I know that my, my nephews are gonna love this. Aiden and Malachi, if you're watching, look, this is a, a mammoth. These are the bones of a mammoth, like the ones you guys like. Look at its arm bone. This is my arm bone versus that. Look at the tusks. The tusks alone are huge. Those tusks have to be between eight and 12 feet long. If you guys are ever in Chihuahua, I definitely recommend this place. 30 pesos is like $1.50. Um, so for a dollar fifty, you get to come in and look at these amazing pieces of history that, in my twenty-six years alive, I had never seen it before. So this is a hundred percent worth it. it. This honestly blew my mind. I have never seen a mammoth or any kind of structure like this before. Wow. <music> Ethereum, and it was from southern North America all the way down South America. 
mammoth hair. so glad we came in like i said for 30 pesos this is not bad at all yeah and what the guy had told us was that everything found in this museum well mostly everything is actually from mexico specifically chihuahua so that alone tells you how far spread just like dinosaurs in general were this is cool so this is the actual museum look at that that's cool so this is the actual museum and this is something that i know my dad's gonna love right here boom look at this these are old school carriages imagine the people that were carried on these look at this one. Oh, you know some millionaire mexican was riding in this one it's so cool <laughs> All right, guys, so we just left Sala 1. Pretty sure this is Sala 2, but they've closed it. So we're entering Sala 3. Let's go in. Yeah, so we can't touch anything here either. Oh, they're, they're pretty much fossils. This is a really cool one. I like these shiny ones. Oh, I remember these from school. <laughs> That's a camera. It looks like an antique camera. Oh, here's a harp. And then, oh my gosh, I think there's a monster. <laughs> Look at this. This is the biggest rock of this kind that I've ever seen. I could literally fit the whole phone in there. You guys are going into the rock. So right now, you guys are literally in the rock. And I have the iPhone 12 Pro Max, so it's the biggest one. So imagine how big this has to be for it to fit. Oh, this one is beautiful. Wow. This place is honestly pretty small, but the thing is that they have some really interesting stuff. This one's really cool because it was made specifically for spanish-speaking countries this is dope oh my gosh i wonder how much this would be worth oh Ro royal crown cola i've never heard of this brand before but i'm definitely gonna look it up now because it must have been a really old business <laughs> oh wow oh. so what she's telling me right now is that 65 million years ago chihuahua used to be just like a whole um forest i guess you would call it and this trunk here was actually from those times so this was from the times where chihuahua was purely just a forest that's really interesting all right guys i'm actually really tired but we're gonna go upstairs now i guess i thought we were done but i guess upstairs is a well so let's go check out the well okay so now we're coming back through where we came from and here's the sign for going upstairs and yeah so see right here we go upstairs so this is the skeleton of a horse that used to roam all of north america Aiden and Malachi, if you're watching, tell me what the name of this horse is. So this was a camel. Wow. This has to be the most complete skeleton I have ever seen. <laughs> I guess that's how they used to look like. And look at this. This is, I believe this is the one, the ones from um, Ice Age. Look how huge they are check this out this is a saber-toothed tiger look at this the teeth and everything these are the cool ones these are barrels for wine this is like a spaniard type seal really cool they're huge
I know who's gonna love this. This is so cool. Ah, oh, this is amazing. This is, uh, I believe, a Triceratops of North America. So this is the North American Triceratops. This is 13. What I thought was really cool about this room was this. This is old school clothes from back in those days, but this is like modern day fashion for the Mexican Mennonites dolls. Oh, this is a dictionary. English and German languages. This must be from the Mennonites. History from the Mennonites here in Mexico. This is where all the Mennonite communities are, mostly in Chihuahua, but they also have some in Coahuila, Durango, Zacatecas, Tamaulipas, and all the way down to Campeche. They have colonies everywhere. Right there, look at that. Menonitas, 1926 to 2000. All right, guys, so we are currently going into Sala 14. And as you could see here, it has all to do with whales. This is, <laughs> I thought this was gonna be something else, but no, it's the whale's rib cage. Sala 15, the gray whale. Let's go inside. Check this out. This is a whole gray well. Look at that. Look at the rib cage. That's what we just saw in the other room. Here's its shoulder, its head. Wow. All right, you guys, so I just took you guys through the whole museum. This place is amazing. As you can see here, look at this. This is a gray well right before our eyes in this random building in Chihuahua, Mexico that we had no idea existed. This place is amazing. If you guys are ever in Chihuahua, Mexico, I 100% recommend this place. If you have kids especially, this place would be a great place for them to come and check the place out. There's not too many people, so you could literally have a good time by yourself with your family. I will be leaving you guys a direction. So yeah, thank you guys so much for coming along. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you guys have an awesome day. And yeah, thank you so much. God bless.